actually see something there. There we go. Joe will be in the picture just a little bit. That, by the way, that little green thing right in the middle of the picture, over right over the S, that's the apple tree. That, that was, I started from a seed <laughs> uh, a year and a month ago. I started that thing, and and since then, how many how many apple seedlings, uh, apple tree seedlings have I done so far? Three, uh, five. You, you've given five. One, two, three. Yeah, I think five. Yeah, five. All right. Uh, Mother's Day is Sunday, and um, there's there are a few things that you might want to remember to take part in. I guess the the number one thing in this community is uh, the Symphony Under the Stars, correct? Uh huh. And that's happening Sunday. Exactly this Sunday. And what what's the thing with Gemma? Do you have Gemma's information? Yeah, I do. She's uh, giving a fundraising concert for the Salvation Army Mexican Orphan Home. Uh, Gemma is a top drawer recording artist. She's donating her time for this fundraising event. It's going to be this Friday at 6.30 p.m. at the Salvation Army Chapel, which is located at the Salvation Army location at 2901 Northeast 14th Street in Ocala. Tickets in advance are $7.00 and at the door they're ten dollars it's a fun family event Gemma is a Christian artist she's absolutely amazing and for more information call the Salvation Army at 629-2004 Gemma oh. is amazing this is a great fundraising event for the Salvation Army and, and Robin is telling you the truth uh, we, we have done radio for a very very long time and obviously when you do a radio show People want to come in and talk to you about the things they do, which is what we're about. And many of the people are recording artists or singers uh, of some sort, performers. And we've had some really, really good ones in here. I, I can tell you this, that I don't think we've ever had anybody as good as Gemma. Gemma is outstanding. She is very Gemma's much Gemma's so. from the Philippines, um, and she is the wife of uh, Ron Adams. Ron is uh, the, the guy you know from, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, turning the thing. Yeah, Ron, Ron is the, uh, the manager, is the owner? What does he do with Ron's Dairy the Queen? Owner. The Ron owner is of Dairy, the Dairy owner Queen. of Dairy Queen in Silver Springs. Right. Ron is absolutely amazing. He's so, um, he has a lot of compassion and he's very passionate about helping others. Can you imagine, though, moving as far away, like uh, like Bern Paraiso also from the Philippines. Can you mm -hmm. imagine moving from the Philippines? to Fl That's a long way. Exactly. Right? So she's thinking of her mother on Mother's Day, and it's a long way away. Sure. Right? Wow. Yeah. It's the other side of the planet. I know. I know. Right? <laughs> All right. So I have some questions about your mom. Uh, I guess since Joe's not in here, I'll ask you, and okay. I'll, I'll answer them also. Okay, good. So these are questions about our moms that are kind of, uh, I guess, conversation uh, primers, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what was some, what is something that your mom always says to you? Something your mother always. I love you. That's a good one. That's what she always says to me. Every time I talk to her on the phone or see her in person, she says, I love you. And I say it back out loud. Let me think if I can, my, my mother would say that too, but let me think of something my mother would have said to me. Mm -hmm. um, that makes your mom unique. Something is just for you. Maybe something from our relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, she would. Oh, I know what she would say. She would say, "You're a you're a saint." Did she call me a saint? My oh, the patience. patience. She said, "You have the patience of a saint." Yes. Yep. My she mother would say, say that, that to me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, she would. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's always a heart warmer. All right, Joe, you're not playing along today. All right. Um, he had a magazine. What in his makes hand. your mother happy? A family. Just being together. Yes, exactly. That's what made my mother happy. Yeah, good example of that. My nephew is now in his first year of college up in Tallahassee, and uh, his last day for the um, you know spring uh, this semester was on Friday, and he told me. And then he's got to go back uh, today, in fact, to start his uh, summer classes. And he told my brother Jim, his dad, that he says, "I want to be with family when I come down." So. Aaron came down on uh, uh, Sunday, and then him and my brother drove down on Tuesday just to be with my mom and me. Nice, nice. So, I mean, a lot of love in your family. Very important. That's beautiful. Yeah. Something that makes your, your mom happy. I, I agreed with you. I'm trying to think of something else that would make my mom happy. Mm -hmm. Getting a phone call from somebody she hadn't. Again, it's all about family, but. So, but good friends, too. Good friends. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, oh I th I'll tell you a story. Um, we moved from New York, and my mom had some really, really close friends, and then they, they lost touch. Mm -hmm. And about the last 
four or five years of, of both of their lives, um, uh, a lady who had been a neighbor and a close friend of my mother's who had lived in Fort Lauderdale got back in touch with my mother. And I have a photograph of the two of them seeing each other for the first time. And it's, it's the faces they have. It's just unbelievable. It's just, an awesome photograph. Yeah. So heartwarming. Good, good shot. Great All right, so, shot. So let me ask you this. Um, how does your mother make you laugh? What does your mother do to make you laugh? Uh, she starts laughing. Her, her laugh makes you laugh? Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll start telling me something and start laughing, and she's got this great facial expression. And then I start laughing because it's, such, it's, it's so wonderful. Huh. And it's something uh, legitimate to laugh at. It's not like making fun of other no, people or no, no, things no, like no, that. No, it's no. just a, a fun experience, and my mom usually has a lot of those. <laughs> I like to make your mom laugh. I, I, I like to make people laugh in general, but... Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's it's uh, it's hard to get people to laugh. Cer- certain people, yeah, it yeah. is very hard. Um, what see, made your mom laugh? What made? No, that's not the question. Oh, the question is uh, how does your mom make you laugh? Oh, and how did your mom make you laugh? My mom made me laugh by always. Ha- okay, uh, there's probably a, a hundred th- different things I could tell you from my life, mm-hmm. but the one thing that came to mind just now is. The last four years of her life after my dad died, I was there a lot. Yes, you were. And um, But yet I wasn't there every day. So I would show up after I hadn't been there for a week or whatever, and she would have a notebook <laughs> filled of things that she wants to tell me. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you, it made me laugh, but it also made me sad because it means that she was holding on to these thoughts all week long Yes, to share with somebody because she was all alone, you know? So. And it was never more than a week you, that you didn't see her. Another thing I made me... on the phone. I, I'll tell you another thing that made me laugh with my mom. Uh, she wanted to learn how to play the organ. And mm-hmm. she played the piano when she was a little girl, so she kind of had a basic understanding of the keyboard. Um, but she just, for one reason or another, didn't pursue it. And so in her older years, she got an organ. And uh, she had the sheet music, and she was taking lessons, and she didn't understand why she needed to play chords. Mm -hmm. She would always say, I hate chords. Why do I have to play chords? (laughs) And if you don't play music, then I'm not going to take the rate of time to explain it to you, but just trust me. (laughs) If you you play music, you're like, well, yeah, it sort of has to go together. Right. The melody and the chords. Okay. Exactly. Um, Let's see. Um, Good morning. uh, Tell me about your mom as a child. Tell me what was her life like when she was a child. Oh, my mom loved animals. She was always always with animals. Um, she grew up in the city, but in the summers, you know, they would go to her aunt's place, my grandmother's sister's place, and they had a farm, and she would just uh, love the animals, and she had a lot of love. So she did a lot of animals? Then? Yeah, a lot of farm. You know, she was on the farm and had the animals. And she always enjoyed meeting people ever since she was little. She always made sure she was very personable with people. People is a driving force in her life. Hmm. She yeah. can't go a day without being with someone. <laughs> She's just wonderful. Great hostess. So my mom was a child. She was an immigrant child. Mm-hmm. And uh, her mom and dad did not speak English when they first moved here. They spoke German. And she eventually, of course, as a child, she she picked up the English language like any child would, real easy, you know. But mm-hmm. her parents didn't do so well with that. And so she had that to, to deal with. And, and so whenever they would go to somebody's house, everybody would speak German. And I asked her one time if she could still speak German. She says, no, I don't, I don't really. But yet she'd get together with uh, people who did still speak German. She could understand them and communicate mm-hmm. with them. I, I thought you couldn't speak it. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, huh? And my mom loved to swim. And all through her uh, uh, high school years and everything, she was a swimmer. She was a uh, competitor on the uh, swimming team and everything so she loved to swim too so she wherever she could find a body of water when she was little to this day she swims every day where's our where's joe i thought this was our visit with joe i know i know i didn't think he was leaving until noon so. all right um the uh, the next question sort of kind of was answered already what what is your mother's favorite thing to do swimming swimming yeah swimming is she swims every day when she can it's Wonderful. Now that the weather is getting hot, she'll be out there with her snorkel and flippers and face mask, and she'll be swimming every day. <laughs> she loves to swim. My mother sewed. Mm-hmm. She, my mother was a swimmer, too, when she was younger, but her older years, she was always sewing. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, always sewing. Um, what does your mother do when you're not around? Uh, she goes out with her friends. Uh, she reads a book. Uh, she goes for a walk. Uh-huh. Yeah, so she's and she's very social. She's she goes. Your mom is yeah. Ev- every day she goes out. Yeah. She uh, volunteers her time. Uh, she was a docent at the Appleton Museum for a few years. So, and she always finds some place to volunteer. So, she's excellent. If your mom became famous, what would she be famous for? Oh, my gosh. What would she be famous for? I think her art. She's a her fabulous art, yes. artist. She's and great she artist, would be fabulous yes. for her art. And, uh, yeah, I think so. What would your mom be famous for? Hmm. Probably her meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Your mom was such, was such a great cook. I was wondering if that was going to get a laugh. And I, I felt like it was supposed to be a joke. I, th- I think she would be... Uh, she was a great, great cook. I love her was fa- she, She'd be famous for her quilts. Oh, yeah. She'd be famous for her quilts. For sure. They're okay. all very unique. Um, People that have them are lucky to have them. What was your mother not really good at in her life? What, what has she just, just tried and just didn't, couldn't get it? Oh, my gosh. Something your mother tried to do, just wasn't very good at it. I, I can't think of anything. I'm sure there's something, but I can't think of Well, you go, and let me try to think about it. All right. Something my mom's not very good at. Uh, hmm. Oh, oh, I know. Huh. Making gravy. <laughs> making gravy. It, it always, uh, she, that was her thing. I mean, making gravy, it was, it, it, it would come out like paste. Oh, okay. It would, you know... It, it would it'd be lumpy. I mean, people would actually <laughs> laugh at her gravy when she served it because you never knew how that gravy was going to turn out. That's what her thing, yeah. Okay, so I have something from my okay. mom. Okay. Something my mom was not good at at all. Okay. Was saying no to a door-to-door salesman. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, she was not good at this. <laughs> the guy would come to the door trying to sell something, and if my father heard it going on, he would just interrupt. Excuse me, we don't want any. <laughs> 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 and, and, well, I don't know. I was having a good conversation with him. Well, no, no, we don't want it. Whatever it is, we don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was not. My my dad was real good at that, and my mom was not good at that. It's one of those things. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi guys. Hello, you. Hey, as my sister and I were growing up, my mother would always say, "Eat every bit of your meal up. The kids in China are starving." Oh yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I like that. Poor that kids in nice. China. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it was kind of hard to get those vegetables down. (laughs) Yeah. I I used to hear that, too, and I used to wonder, how does this help them at all? If I eat everything in my plate, how does that help them? (laughs) I have no idea. All I know is that we ate everything up. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Thank you, Hugh. Appreciate that. I love that. All right. um, um, What was your mother's job? Oh, well, she was a mom, but she she was a beautician, and she still is. She's, you know, she does. Good morning. Morning. Yep, she was a beautician, and uh, she loved that job. My mother was a key punch operator. Mm -hmm. Not really sure what that even is. (laughs) Not not anymore. (laughs) I never quite understood. I know it's got to do with computers and those cards that used to come out, Uh but I never quite understood what you punched into those cards and what those little holes meant. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. I used to go to see her. She used to uh, work at the college near near where we grew up. Uh huh. Yeah, she's and, a the, and the computer back in those days was bigger than this room we're in here. Oh yeah, they were mm-hmm. huge, huge, huge. Um, let's see. Uh, what was your mother's? What is your mother's favorite food? Oh, steak. Ice cream. Ah, uh, <laughs> ice cream for your mom. I would say ice yeah. cream. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Um, yeah, my mom loves ice cream, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, if your mom was a cartoon character, who would she be? Oh, my gosh. Isn't this... I think Wilma Flintstone. Something silly for your mom? I think she would have been Wilma, Wilma, Wilma Flintstone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gosh, I can't. That one's a hard... That's a silly one. Okay. I know, but I'm trying to think of something that, you know, a, a, a cartoon character. Um, oh, name gosh, name something know. that um, you... Aunt Fritzy, because Aunt Fritzy was always there for Nancy <laughs> and for everybody. Aunt Fritzy, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I would yeah. say that. All right, uh, name something you and your mom do together all the time. Oh, we uh, we play games. 
together. We go to the theater together all the time. Yeah, we do that. Go to church together. Yep. That's what we do all the time. My gosh, this, this one almost makes me sad. I, I going, to ch- going to church uh, yeah. was toward the end of her life. But before that, this is why it makes me sad. I don't know. I didn't, mm-hmm. do, I didn't, I wasn't like my mom's buddy like you are with your mom. Yeah, but you always took her to a hairdresser. It, at, to, the last four years of her life, I yeah, was, I you was her buddy. Did. She looked so forward to that. And no, that's going true. To the shed but, uh, but uh, that's why it makes me sad because it wasn't until my father died that I was my mother's buddy. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Joe, you didn't want to do this one today? Okay. No? no? Um, how are you and your mom different? How are you and your mom different? Oh, my mom's very thrifty and she's very exact on everything and I kind of you're you know, not so with, thrifty <laughs> with the schedules i'm not i'm not so thrifty and i you're fly by organized. the seat of my pants <laughs> well my mom was more realistic than me you know i, I was yeah. kind of an airhead <laughs> i think in my lifetime so anyway so yeah I, my mom's real too she's very realistic yes your mom is you yeah. know what i think that has to do with growing up in that era though mm-hmm. that they were in so yeah all right. Well, we will continue this tomorrow. This this was kind of a fun topic. Mother's Day is coming up. Don't, okay. Don't forget to go to Bob Wines Community Gardens. Get something for your mother for her garden. And, oh, yeah. And, and outstanding. Don't, and don't forget the uh, Symphony Under the Stars. Hang out with your mom over there. Exactly. All right. Uh, Glenn Beck coming up after the news. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Just hours after welcoming home the detainees released by North Korea, the commander in chief breaking news. The president says the highly anticipated meeting with Kim Jong Un will take